Welcome to This Week in Colorado Soccer, Eric Poloni, Danny Sanchez. Coach, really wanted to get some results, got some results. It was a, a great weekend for the Buffs, the, the win over Arizona and then the win over Arizona State. Um, also, senior day, lots going on. Uh, but let's start with the Arizona match and, and talk us through that one. Great performance from the Buffs. You know, we, we knew we had to respond. Um, nice crowd on a Thursday night, ball zipping around. I thought we played really well. 2 nothing is a fair result. So I'm pretty blunt with the, I think it could have been more. I thought we really created a lot of opportunities. Shira uh, opens it up for us with the one nothing lead, but it's a dangerous lead because Arizona's a good team. And they've had some really good results here. We're coming off a draw against USC. And then right at the beginning of the second half, Faith uh, scores the goal. And that really kind of killed the game off. I really was pleased everyone we brought in. It really helped us for Sunday because we were able to play a lot of numbers and, and stay fresh. It was a very good performance from the team. And then uh, Sunday, Snow, first snow of the season. Yep. We were 72 hours away from having a great season of weather at Brenta <laughs> Field. Uh, snow on Sunday. Of course, we had the mist on Thursday. Uh, but the ground crew did a great job getting the field cleared. Uh, and then 4 nothing win over Arizona State. Big result for them. Yeah, first of all, us. Jose, Alex, John Galvin, everybody out here bright and early. And the staff. Um, but cleared the field. And really, it was a perfect soccer pitch. I mean, it was dry. It was, it was great to play on. Uh, nice turnout of supporters. You know, we played okay in the first half, Eric. Um, we challenged them at halftime and what the last 30 minutes, our best 30 minutes of the year, like I uh, told Seth uh, um, after the game. It's just uh, getting the first goal, Ava, great individual effort to get the end line, forced the own goal, and then we were really flying. You know, Hope Leiva has been so close for so long, and what a goal. I mean, legit 70 yard run and finish it. And you can see the emotions when she celebrated with, uh, with Jason. After the goal, then Allie Clark, wow, what a goal. And then Lila with a nice assist to Claire for her to open her CU account. So a great form of the Buffs, defended well. Everyone that came in, we were able to get all eight of our um, seniors in the game, and they all played really well. It was just a really great day for the Buffs. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a good way to send the seniors off for sure. Uh, Buffs currently sit in sixth in the Pac-12 standings uh, with an opportunity to move up to fourth. Yep. Uh, need a little help yep. and need a result on Friday at Utah. Um, always a tough place to play, um, but you've had some success there. Talk a little bit about what you're looking forward to on Friday. You know, it seems like it always comes down to at Utah or us with Utah. It's always a one-goal game. Um, you know, they're a team. They were, up until Sunday, and Sunday, really, they had the run of play against Arizona and just gave them an own goal and couldn't come back from it. Before that, they were beating Arizona State, beat Washington State, you know, beat Washington. So they're playing well. Um, they have a limited rotation, but their, their starters are really solid. So it's going to be a, a very important for us to start fast and play at high tempo on Friday. The weather, just like today in Boulder, is going to be perfect. So that's good. So 2 o'clock on Friday. We're going to throw it all out there. We have everything to play for, so we're really excited. Decision day on Friday. All the uh, Pac-12 schools are in action, so it, uh, we'll know a lot more by the end of the day Friday. Yeah. Uh, should be a good one. Well, uh, good luck with that match on Friday. Thanks, Eric. You can follow Buffs all season long. See you, buffs.com slash soccer. We'll see you next week.